Hello and welcome. Driveway dudes today had a cabinet delivered for the bathroom. Big mirror and a storage cabinet behind the mirror so we can keep our beards in check with all our trimming tools and accessories. I'm going to show you how to hang it. The tools you'll need for this are the following. Marker pen, Phillips and blade screwdriver, measuring tape, the bubble spirit level, drill bit, roll plugs, screws, hammer, drill and of course the cloth so you can catch the dust when you're drilling. But most important of all is safety. Always wear safety, goggles and earplugs. Also when you're drilling make sure that there's no pipes or electrics behind the wall that you're drilling. First off we're going to remove the old mirror and um, that's quite simple. It's held on by two screws and we'll just undo them. Well, that's just a cap and the screws on these are blade type screws so we'll just find a little slot and screw that's ready to come off then the other one now support the mirror because you don't want it falling in and breaking in seven years of bad luck and there we go that's it don't worry about the holes in the wall as the new cabinet is going to be covering them. Now also, don't forget when you're hanging your new cabinet, take into account the height of the people in the house because you don't want it too high or you don't want it too low. Try and find a happy medium. So in my family, we go from about five foot seven to about six foot. So I'm going to find a medium in between those two. And once again, be safe when you're drilling into a wall, make sure that you have a stud electric pipe detector. And so you can make sure that there isn't any of those in the wall before you drill. Nothing worse than hitting a pipe or electrics. This is the cabinet here we're going to fit and we're just going to offer it up now and measure it up. Now I've already worked out the height that I want it to be. So what I'll do is uh, put that up on there and we'll go up and we'll find a level. Now press it in, good and tight against the wall, finding the level. It's where I want it. Might take a little bit of maneuvering about a bit and you should find it. Again, press the cabinet into the wall, shouldn't move anywhere. Mark, we want to drill. And gently remove it. And there's the marks ready to drill. Now a little trick as well when you're drilling is when you have your drill bit, you also have your screw and you're wondering how deep will I go? What you do is you can hold your screw up against the drill bit and see where the, see where the screw is. Allow a little bit and what you do then is you get a bit of marking tape. And you wrap the masking tape around the drill bit so that when you're drilling you won't go any deeper than you have to go. Don't forget to wear your safety protection. So I have a nice pair of sexy goggles or glasses and I have my earplugs. Earplugs again just get them in they're nice and smooth and soft and they'll go in nice and comfortable. Again there's all different types whichever whatever rocks your boat. Time to drill. Now excuse the noise. Hold on. 
Now that I've got the holes drilled, pretty much where I want them, I'm going to stick the roll plugs in. And in some cases you may need to tap them in with a hammer, or some of them will just go straight into place. Not quite. We'll be tapping that one. Again, we'll be tapping that one. In place and ready to hang the cabinet. Line it up with two screws first. Put the screws through. So you'll be able to offer it up into the holes. Once you get into the holes, the rest will follow. So up we go. Again, they can just line up. Right, so one lined up. Screw it in by hand. Push it in along and you'll see the other one. a little bit lazy so I'm going to use cordless drill. So tighten in. It's not going to fully in. It's not going to come off the wall. And what you do then before you tighten it up is make sure the bottoms are lined up. Then we have the bottom and again just the other one, hold the frill again, again not fully tightened, almost in, open up your level, check your level, by not tightening them fully, it'll allow you a little bit of movement. So, just needs to come a bit to the left, and then you can start tightening. And that's it. Ready for our beautifying products. Thanks for watching Driveway Dudes. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.